Everybody, Dark Prince plays here, letting the curtains rise on another, oops, uh, on another episode of Let's Play Kirby Star Allies. In the last episode, we started off our adventure here in Dreamland. Um, we found that King DDD is stealing all the food in Dreamland, so we completed Green Gardens. I thought that said Green Greens for a second. I was like, there's no way it would be named that. Uh, then Donut Dome. We also unlocked the Dream Palace and friended Rick Kainku for the end of the last episode. And now we're going to start off with Honey Hill. So if you haven't seen the last episode, make sure the project doesn't say so you're caught up with everything that's happened up to this point. So something I completely forgot about is... Okay, first off, my computer is, like, burning because there's, like, a heat wave going on right now. It's 93 degrees. And... I kind of have to have the... Oh, there's a bird outside. Uh, I kind of have to have the window open. So if, like, you hear any outside noise, then... Yeah, also... Give me a second. I need to get rid of that thing in the corner. I'll see if I get, what I can do. I just need to exit the game and then come back. But I'll just finish explaining. So it's like really hot. I didn't want to turn on the fan in the hallway because the mic picks that up like indefinitely. So I don't know how many episodes I'm going to record, but I'm pretty sure Cuphead uh, is ending this week for me. So... Well, not just for me, but for everyone. I'm pretty sure like the last episode's going to go up really soon. So kind of have to uh, start recording like crazy again. Because I'll see what I can do about that thing in the corner. I don't think it's there in my like main file because I think I turned that off somehow. Uh, is it control? No. Yeah, I'll be right back. I'll see, I'll see if I can fix it. There we go. So I had to go to the main menu and hit settings. And now it's off. I also turned off my rumble, so hopefully that'll make for a much better playing experience for me. And I'm maybe the rumble would have came out in the recording too, so maybe even a better view experience for you. Especially that thing in the corner. Thank god that's gone. Uh, but yeah, the reason Rick kind of crew aren't with us is because I turned the game off. And by that, I mean switch the game cartridge entirely, so... I guess that gives us an opportunity to befriend Ban Bandanity. Bandana what? Look at him! Look at the little baby. Here comes the boy. I love you. So yeah, Bandana D is or Bandana Waddle D is the only uh, way that you get the spear ability in this game. So yeah, for those of you who don't know, or I don't remember, was it was the spear ability in Return to Dreamland? I don't think it was, but I know for a fact it was in Triple Deluxe, and I think it was in... No, I don't think it was in Planet Robobot. But yeah, he controls just the same as uh, Spear in the 3DS games. And maybe Return to Dreamland, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't actually gotten to play Return to Dreamland, but I really want to. Maybe if I get it eventually, that'll be in a future LP. Maybe even a TRI one, too. Anyways, now that we got our friend, we can... Actually, start this episode's level, Honey Hill. Yeah, since he since he's holding a weapon, that means if we get a ooh, yo yo, give me, give me, give me, give me. yo yo ability or the yo yo, so yeah, you can kind of attack at a distance, which is really cool. And this one can also be combined with an element. And since uh, Waddle Dee uh, is holding a weapon, his spear can also be combined with an element, such as so. Sizzle yo yo, attack up. And you too. So I think it's Sizzle Spear, not actually Sizzle Waddle Dee. Yeah. Some of them it's like, um, like you can give Susie an elemental ability, and it just calls the game just calls it Sizzle Susie. Which is a bit odd. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty glad that it's just uh. Sizzle Spear, also, or Sizzle Spear. Okay, there was something weird. My, com my computer, but I fixed it. Okay, so the reason you can't, you might want Yo-Yo is because it can even attack through walls, and if you combine it with fire, you get night fuses through walls. I really do like the ability combinations of this game. I think it's really cool. But even though Star Allies is a really short game, and certainly does feel a bit too easy sometimes. Um, I do like quite a few things about it. Uh, 
Ooh, gimme. Uh, I don't think we've seen this yet, so do two door. Two door. No, I don't really know what it's called, but if you see a door with figures above it, you need that many allies to get. <clears throat> or you need that many people at once to get through it. Yeah, like, I think at one point there's like a four uh, person door. Yeah, this is how you get the puzzle piece. Well, I guess you kind of. Not really have to, but like, it's really your own fault if you miss that, I think. Or if you're playing with someone else and they purposely flip. Um, if you're playing with someone else and they just purposefully miss the button. Yeah, I'm playing single player, so computers will pretty much always go for the button that, you, that you'll need. And we've got bouncing friends. You can't kill the giant ones. I do like Whip. The Wester. I forgot that was his name. <laughs> so let's give you fire. Sizzle Whip. Actually, there's a there's an attack I really like with Whip. So you go, you have to press down and then quickly press up and then B. So wait, is that not it? There it is. I really like that move. Yeah, you can see. Uh, oh, cool. If you, if you're riding piggyback, you can just see their moves. So yeah, there's just a bunch of different moves in this game with the different copy abilities. It's pretty neat. All right, and then just keep running. Dun 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 that guy just <laughs> I don't know if there's a reward for killing that guy but eh. eh if you just wait here then all the small friends just fly everywhere the four wheel babies play together with other players that's a tier that's a future TRI thing that we might do okay so that was Oh, never mind. I, I was gonna say that's like the only part of the level of bouncing wild abuse, I think. But there is a fuse, yeah. I remembered this from the level, and I think there's another yo yo thing, yeah. Uh, no one got hurt, right? Okay. Now we gotta kinda race, but it's not that difficult. Well, I mean, we're only in world one, so it kinda makes sense. And technically, there's four worlds in the game. There's four, right? Yeah. I I guess technically five, but not really. This is the fifth one. It's just oh wait, we gotta erase. Hooray, we won. Yeah, but the quote unquote fifth world is just the last or the final boss. But anyways, key. You can't really attack with it, and you can't fly either. So yeah, you might want to remember that for later. You can throw it. I like throwing it at doors. Instead of just going right up to it. And here's the secret switch. Extra stage open. You push the big switch that opens an extra stage on the world map. Nido King. <clears throat> and it's game over, which will probably never happen for me unless for some reason, like, all of my like lives just get drained from some unforeseen circumstance or unforeseen the most i'll die in a level is probably like five to seven like at most but that would have to be like a really bad day and notice how i'm not killing the waddledies oh, oh wait oh wait when did wester take damage Oh well. So you need you need four allies here, but wait, what was this? Oh wait, that's the end. Wait, 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 wait. Everyone get in the cannon. Everyone get in the cannon. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? No! <laughs> okay. Everyone get in a cannon. I don't think I'm gonna get the rainbow puzzle piece, because it's on one of these and I forget which one is which. I think Wester's gonna get it. Nope, I am actually. <laughs> Alright, cool. 
Uh, can we not jump down through this? That we could, yeah. You can honestly go either way, but just for the sake of convenience. I never really noticed that side path, actually. <laughs> like, uh, down below, because I've always had four allies at this part. Alright, goal game. It's really weird. I, I haven't been hitting the... Because normally it shows you, like, um, when to press. Like, it turns, I think, like a pinkish-purple color. I'm talking about the worm, by the way. I think it's the worm. It turns, like, a different color, and then you press A. Strange that it's not doing it. Use copy essences to get friends. Use magical, uh, use magical relics to get friends. Extra eclair, I think. There's more adventure to be found. An extra stage is now unlocked. We got both the treasure here. Or both treasures. Is this the one that plays green greens? I don't... I know one of these uh, extra levels did. Yep. Ninja villain. Ninja. I actually do really like the ninja. Uh, let's go, let's all go water this time. Or at least I'll go water, and then you two can have um, fire. Splash ninja. I don't think I've ever seen the Blossom Storm with uh, water, so it's up, down, B, so, wait, that's pretty cool. Actually, maybe I have and I just don't remember it. Also, you can do this nonsense, you can just mash fast enough. Okay, you might want to follow the signs, because otherwise you're screwed. Uh, that becomes more prevalent later in the level, I think. And we got an, a falling friend. Uh, it's, oh no, it is this way. Cool. You can also see because of, or you can also see what the scarfies are. It's basically telling you, like, yeah, don't go with the scarfies are. Oh yeah. Also, um, parasol lot of these can give you the splash. Uh, can give you splash effect. In other words, it can give you water. That's what I mean. Scarfies were hidden this time. Scarfie! Also, they think about them, they might look adorable, but you try to inhale them or hurt them, but not enough to kill them, then they'll just turn into demons and try to explode on you. Oh yeah, also the, the throwing knives just go all the way across the screen. Which is why I'm able to do this. Ninja doesn't have, like, an uppercut attack, does it? No. Huh! One! Uh, oh, right! There's a key somewhere- Oh, I kind of- I was kind of panicking because I forgot that they couldn't go through doors. Yeah, that should've been it, right? Tis! I guess I'll show going up- right up to the door and opening it. I threw the last key at the last unlockable door, and where are you two? What? Where are you going? <laughs> oh, right, they teleport. Here, let's just walk far enough. And okay. It slipped in my mind that the um, that the allies could teleport. What a few things are slipped in my mind today. It's a weapon on fire for bendability. Uh, okay. Can one of you like that? Thank you. There's a big boy. I do know that that guy came from Return to Dreamland and oh god, we gotta go. Everyone in a cannon, go. <laughs> Quickly! I think this is the one that was out of order, so I think I think it's one of the middle ones that gets the rainbow puzzle piece. At least I think this is where it is. Dribbly. Oh no, he just gets the big stars. Doom. Dude. And I get the rainbow. Yeah. Let's 
Sorry if the commentary is uninteresting. I, I was about to say, I promise it'll get better eventually, but honestly, I don't want to make that promise because I can't even promise that on my own channel. Oh, I love this music. Yeah, I can't guarantee good commentary and any game whatsoever. Oh, did I forget to mention that ninja can cling on the walls? I love the Kabula theme, it's so good. I've always loved it. The first time I heard it was in Epic Yarn when you get to use the tank. I love Epic Yarn. It was pretty much my whole childhood, because that was the game I played the most growing up. And we got a mini boss coming up, I think. Because whenever you got enemies placed like that, you're usually going to come up with um, a mini boss. Bonkers. Oh, I think we're about to get two lights here. Oh, wait, no! Okay, well, I was going to switch my abilities anyway, so. Because Hammer is really good. And yep, we got two. The Viv Vividria. I always call her Vividra, but I, I know that's wrong. Yeah, Hammer, the most powerful weapon in the game. Her ability. Okay, actually, I do want to defend her, though. Uh, sorry, Wester. Okay, and she can paint these. Yeah, that's the artist ability, which I think is completely new to this game. I know that there's um, another new ability that we'll, we have yet to see. But I'm pretty sure Artist was another one. Cool. Was well, there something in the corner that I missed? No, the camera doesn't even pan up. Can we get the goal game this time? I'm really hoping we can. There it is. Okay, I just wasn't waiting long at- You saw what I meant though, right? By uh, the caterpillar thing turning purple. Or like pinkish purple, I don't really know. I don't think I know colors anymore. Okay. There's that. I think we have time for another, and actually, there's something pretty cool that I want to show off here. Fruity Forest. Uh, I don't think I'm going to ke keep a vid vid Vividria. I I just never pronounced her name right. But I don't think I'm going to keep her around. Uh, we got Wester back, but I kind of want to try something new. Like... Oh, we'll find it eventually. <gasps> First, I kind of want... No, not you. We got Splash Hammer. I do like the little designs on the barrel of the uh, uh, hammer. No, 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 no! Okay, fine. I guess we're using water then. But anyways... Sugar High! Huzzah. Wait, wait, I want to friend him! No, friend! No, friend! Oh, cool. I give us fire. Sizzle hammer. Okay. I'm doing this for a reason, by the way. Okay, um... Maybe we should have taken the Wester, actually. Oh, that does create a lava ball. I never really noticed that. Uh, you. Poppy Bros. Sizzle bomb. <laughs> I'll always remember the failed hope, uh, that moment. Just, actually, wait a minute. Maybe we shouldn't be combining. Uh, maybe we shouldn't be mixing fire with the bomb. 
Okay. Anyways, this. Mm, actually, I kind of do want to use this. So you use this and everything resets except for your dream friend. Wait, 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 wait. Or any, any dream friends you have. So yeah, if you friended a, a character with an ability you wanted, then you could just take their ability instead of then friend the one that you had. Pretty neat. Anyways. Look who it is. Guardian of the Forest, Wispy Woods. So our first boss battle. It's a pretty easy one too. So he's just gonna drop roots on you and occasionally he'll do that like a little the air attack that he has and sometimes he'll even inhale. Does this version inhale? I think it does. And then you're separated from your other, or from two of your allies. And now I'll drop a crap ton of fruit on you. Okay, you're supposed to dodge to the side, but it's really easy to just attack all but never mind. I guess it's not as easy as I thought, but yeah. Alright, cool, we beat him. Yeah, he does his iconic like, crying after you beat him, but if you friend him, yeah, that happens. I love the little di like I. So if you look back and see like the little dance that Waddle Dee did with his arms, that's like my favorite dance in Kirby. Just just the little arm movements. So cute. Uh, but there is another thing that I want to show off too. So I'm going to pause and then go back to the Wispy fight. Or at least the area with the... Um... Crap, I keep forgetting what that thing's called. But the thing that I use to get rid of my abilities and my, temporarily my other allies. Or temporarily get rid of my other allies. Yeah, any level with the silhouette of something in front of it, that's a boss level. It's so like here it's Wispy, and then over there it's King Da 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 Da. But anyways, I'll see you back at the Wispy room. Because there is another thing that I want to show off. Okay, so something that I didn't explain uh, before. And I guess I probably should have unpaused for that part, for that specific part, is that. Um, if you go back and get a rainbow puzzle piece again, like one that you've already got, uh, it basically counts as three normal puzzle pieces. But anyways, I'm gonna fight Wispy again, this time with everyone having a fire, or a fire induced weapon. That didn't make sense. Anyway, everyone has the fire ability there. Or is like some form of fire. So there's actually a reason I did want to fight Wispy again with fire. Or with Sizzle Hammer. So not only are we going to beat him faster because our attacks are stronger, but there is something else with the second phase. They're going to attack him one, at once with fire. I said if everyone attacks him at once with fire... Well, you're just going to make a liar enemy. So what's supposed to happen is he's... Supposed to like get engulfed in flames and then. Um. I might as well just show this off then. It's the alternative uh, victory dance. Which, yeah, you get healed at the end of the levels, anyways. Or at least the bosses. Like. I don't know if you get healed at the end of normal levels. I don't think so. Unle no, you don't, unless you get high enough on the goal game. But. Yeah, what was supposed to happen, he was supposed to get engulfed in flames and take just. He was just going to take crap tons of damage until he died. And then if you friended him there, you would... Why do you say it like that? If you friended him there, he'd give you, like, beef and, like, hamburgers and stuff. Instead of fruits, which I find kind of funny. But there is a third thing I want to show off, which... Might as well just show off the rest of the level since I... Uh, can I not speak today? Is this Splatoon, th Splatoon 2 all over again? Jeez. Yeah, I beat this level pretty quickly that time around. 
And I guess I didn't really explain the invincible uh, lollipop all that well. I'm gonna do that here. So yeah, basically the super the power star for Mario or superstar, whatever you want to call it. And here I'll show off the rainbow puzzle piece. Yeah, it's grayed out, and you get three regulars from it. Regular puzzle pieces. I I want to say that Forgotten Land has my favorite version of the lollipop theme. Also this. Okay. I just thought that was funny. Oh, poor Waddle Dee. Uh, but anyways, here is something pretty cool that not a lot of people know about, or at least uh, not a lot of people know about if you don't watch like certain videos online. So, so for this, do not go all the way to Wispy. Just walk to this spiral tree right here, and then run all the way back. But don't go too far, otherwise you'll activate the boss fight. So after doing that, and going all the way back to where you started the room, there's a little door here. You go inside it, and... Oh. You go back inside it, you gotta do this room in reverse, but that's a lot easier than doing it normally, and... Oh yeah, you also get a crap ton of rewards from it. I kinda forgot about that part. Putting these one up. And a maximum tomato. See, now I can now I can pay for their health care. So now there's another door here. How long does this go for? I actually don't remember. I think we actually have to go to the beginning of the level again. Which I actually don't know what's up here. Is there three more puzzle pieces? Uh, oh! This is chaos. Anyways, yeah, now you go up here. In this tree which, which you started the level in. And then... Howl Room! So yeah, for those of you who don't really know Kirby all that all that well, Howl Rooms are really secret rooms that can give you abilities that you can't even get until later in the game. Yeah, they're really nice to find, but normally they're pretty tedious to find on your own. So that's why you just gotta rely on online videos and stuff. And for those of you who don't know what Howl is, they're the development team, or the... Yeah, the development team behind the Kirby series. And always has, the, or almost always has that iconic uh, broom guy sweeping up uh, the L of the HAL logo. Okay, now we got um, the chef ability, the, the suplex ability, the cleaner ability, and, and the yo-yo ability. I don't know why I forgot that. Um, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna... Friend Bonkers, get rid of Poppy Bros Jr. Uh, I'll take... Um, what should I take? I'll take... Hmm. I didn't think this one through, actually. Uh, I'll take Yo-Yo, I guess. Oh, no, I'll take Cleaner, I suppose. Oh, yeah, he's... <laughs> Wait, how do I get the flying thing? Get little... How do I... How do I fly? I forgot how to fly. I know you can... Oh yeah, you got these cute little... Little shtukums. Where is it? Clean shoot you. Dash plus beam in air. Okay. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, I think clean... Or cleaning is really... The cleaning ability is really cool. Uh, and I might as well friend... Uh, I'll friend Kawasaki. Because we won't see Chef for a little while, but... Uh, as for the suplex ability, that's literally the next one. And anyways, if you come over here, 
you get something else that you won't get, or that you're usually not supposed to get until much later in the game. So you could just go through the door, but if you go up here, you need four allies, and... Friend Star! Here, I'm gonna switch over to Bonkers because he has fire. Or not, I guess your elements don't really matter in this thing. Maybe I should just actually stuck with the fire ability here. Because that would have showed up wispy burning faster, but oh well. So yeah, you're not even supposed to get this until like, I want to say World 3? So yeah, we're <laughs> it's just a neat little secret for those who know about it. We know you're wispy. Anyways, you get this, you get the friend star. Look how much it, or how fast it tears through his HP. And he doesn't separate you and your allies because well, you're all together on the friend star. And then, <laughs> yeah, you just bully wispy with this thing. Pretty neat secret. Now I gotta walk all the way over here. Cool. So yeah, for those of you who didn't know about that, now you do. So if for some reason you're having trouble beating Wispy, you can just do that. But I don't know if you'd, why you'd have trouble beating Wispy, but maybe if you're like starting to play video games, maybe I can kind of understand why, but yeah. And that'll about do it for this episode, so next time on Kirby Star Allies, we'll head off to Castle DDD to play the level Clash at Castle DDD and fight Escargoon. I'm just kidding, Ca King DDDDDDD himself. So anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one, and goodbye! <laughs>